1003. <coughs> the helper of Israel. We are getting to prophetic things again. But these prophetic things should be pretty obvious of who they're talking about. Be silent before me, you islands. <clears throat> Let the nations renew their strength. Let them come forward and speak. Let us meet together at the place of judgment. Who has strained up one from the east, or stirred up one from the east, <clears throat> calling him in righteousness to his service? or east slash whom victory meets at every step <clears throat> he hands nations over to him and subdues kingdoms before him he turns them into dust with his sword <clears throat> to wind blow the blown cliffs with his bow <clears throat> mm. He pursues them and moves unscathed <clears throat> by a path his feet have not traveled before. Who has done this and carried it through, <clears throat> calling forth the generations from the beginning? I, the Lord with the first of them and with the last of them I am he is your God the first and the last <coughs> the islands have seen it and fear the ends of the earth tremble they approach and come forward they help each other as they and say to their companions, be strong, the metal worker encourages the goldsmith, and the one who smooths, smooths with a hammer, with the hammer, <coughs> go to sleep, spurs is the one who strikes an anvil, one says of the welding, it is good. <clears throat> the other nails down the idol, so it will not topple. <clears throat> but you, Israel, my servant, Jacob, whom I have chosen, your descendants, you descendants of Abraham, my friend, I took you from the ends of the earth, from the farthest corners you co I called you. Oh, so he called them behind the ice wall of Antarctica, according to Flat Earthers. Oh no, the corners of the Earth is a metaphor, but everything else proving a Flat Earth is a metaphor. Whatever. From this, from its furthest cor corners I called you, I said, You are my servant. I have chosen you and have not rejected you. So do not fear. I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous hand no with my right righteous right hand yes <laughs> that's what it says righteous right hand <clears throat> all who rage against you will surely be ashamed and disgraced go to sleep those who oppose you will be as nothing and perish <clears throat> 
Though you search for your enemies, you will not find them. Those who rage war against you will be as nothing at all. For I am the Lord your God, yes you are, who takes hold of your right hand <coughs> and says to you, <coughs> Do not fear, I will help you. <coughs> Do not be afraid, you worm Jacob. Little Israel, do not fear, for I myself will help you, declares the Lord. You, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, <coughs> see, I will make you into a stressing sledge, a new and sharp. With my teeth, you will thresh the mountains and crush them and reduce the hills to chaff. To sleep? Why are she clearing her phone in her sleep? Oh, wow. You will winnow them, and the wind will pick them up, and the egg will blow them away, but you will rejoice in the Lord, the glory in, and glory in the Holy One of Israel. The poor and needy search for water, but there is none. Their tongues <coughs> are parched with thirst. By the Lord will answer them. I, the God of Israel, will not forsake them. I will make rivers flow on barren heights and springs within the valleys. I will turn the desert desert into pools of water, and the parched ground into springs. I will put uh, in the desert the cedar in the Arcadia, <coughs> the myrtle, and the olive. I will set junipers in the wasteland. the fir and the cypress together so that my so that people may see and know and consider and understand the hand of the Lord ha that the hand of the Lord has done this that the Holy One of Israel has created it <clears throat> present your case says the Lord Send forth your arguments, says Jacob's king. Tell us, you idols, what is going to happen. Tell us what the former things were, so that we may consider them, and know their final outcome, or declare to us the things to come. Tell us what the future holds, so, that, so we may know that you are God's, do something, rather good or bad, so that we, we will be dismayed and filled with fear. <clears throat> That's just going, tearing, and mocking the idea of idols right here. But you are less than nothing, and our, your works are utterly worthless. Whoever chooses you is detestable <clears throat> if you're worshiping idol tell it to do something anything hey, hey. it won't it can't can it speak no it can do anything no I have stirred up one for the north I've stirred up one from the north and he comes <clears throat> One from, <clears throat> from the rising sun who calls my name. He turns on treads on rulers as if they were mortar, as if he were a potter treading the clay. <clears throat> who told of this from the beginning so we could know? 
Omri Farhan, and so we could say he was right. No one told of this. No one foretold it. No one heard any words from you. <clears throat> I was the first to tell Zion, look, here they are. I gave to Jerusalem a messenger of good news. I looked, no, I looked, but there is none. There is no one. No one among the gods to give counsel. No one to give a give answer when I ask them. See, they're all, they are all false. Their deeds amount to nothing. Their images are but wind and confusion. We still have idolizing worship cultures to this day. Sometimes the idol is not what you think it is.